friends, my name is Shannon and I work for Cobb County Public Library and I'm back with a new story to share with you. This one's called Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. Peter Reynolds, if he's the only name on the cover of this book, that means that he's the author and the illustrator. He's the author, he wrote the words of the book, and he's the illustrator. He drew all the pictures. Let's read this one together. Say something. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful word, words can be awesome. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. Canvas, do you know what a canvas is? It's something that you can paint on. So if you see an empty canvas, what do you want to do? Fill it up with beautiful paint. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. Look, that empty lot with just trash turned into a beautiful flower garden. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! Is that okay? If you see someone being hurt, you need to tell someone or say, hey, stop. Oh, if you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. He saw that beautiful flower and he wrote a poem. Painted meadow splashed with rainbows. Oh, beautiful. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! Do you like her style? I sure do. And I like your style too. If you are angry, say something to help people understand. Look, do you see these two kids having a good time together? And this kid does not feel included. So they say, you made me feel invisible. That really hurt. And now that kid knows I'm really sorry. You have to tell people how you feel. Say something. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully and inspire others to do the same. No more hurting people. Love and peace. And look at all of these. Peace. Peace. That's peace in sign language. Pax, peace. I love the ocean. Peace, peace, peace. Make more light. And there's hearts. Beautiful. Sometimes you'll say something 
and no one will be listening. But keep saying what is in your heart, and you will find someone who listens. Who's listening? That little birdie. <gasps> keep saying it, and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. It started with one birdie, and now look. A million birdies are listening. Look at them all. And they're still coming in. There's still more coming to listen. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. I hope, I believe, I wish, join us. Together we can. I'm ready to change the world. I imagine every voice matters. Some people are saying these things out loud, and some people are just thinking them. You can say out loud, join us, or you can think, I believe, I wish. So when you're ready, say something. The end. So what did you think of that story? Did you like it? I love Peter Reynolds stories and this one is one of my favorites. I hope it inspired you to say something and to use your voice because the things that you have to say are really important and the world needs to hear them. So I hope that you feel inspired to say something and I hope you have a great rest of the day. I'll see you next time for another story.